Well, hello and welcome to The Zone. I'm your host, Big Wave Dave. We are putting together an exciting new program designed for kindergarten through eighth grade students. We're going to talk about a lot of different topics, including things like, what is the Bible? Can we trust it? Is it relevant? And what about that big global flood? Did that really happen? Is there any evidence for that? What about ape men? Are they real? What about the Ice Age? Does the Bible have anything to say about it? There are so many different topics. What about fossils? Where did they come from? What can we learn from them? And of course, my personal favorite, these guys. Have you ever wondered, how do dinosaurs fit into the Bible? Well, stick with us and you'll find out. Our purpose here at The Zone is to help you know what you believe and why you believe it. We're going to give you answers to tough questions so that you can develop a confident faith. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do these topics even matter? After all, isn't it all about Jesus? Well, you're right, it is about Jesus, but check this out. A few years ago, there was a major study done and they interviewed over 1,000 people that had walked away from their faith. Now, based upon the results of the study, they made a very disturbing prediction. Two out of three of all the youth that are in church are going to walk away from their faith. Now, I don't know about you, but that really bothers me. Now, the researchers said that the reasons came down to the top three. The first, people not walking the talk. The second one, is that churches have so many different rules. But the third one is the belief that science has disproven the Bible. Then that's what we're going to focus on here at The Zone. You know, it's interesting. The Bible said this would happen. Peter said there would come a day where there would be scoffers. Do you know what a scoffer is? A scoffer is someone who doesn't believe the Bible. Now, what I find fascinating is this. The Bible says that they will deliberately forget two things creation and the flood. So how do you deliberately forget something? Well, you teach the opposite. You see, by the time a student in public school reaches 10th grade, they've covered over 260 pages of evolutionary content. And these 10 pillars of evolution that are taught, quite honestly, they are attacks upon the Bible. Let's take a look at some examples, okay? So the Bible says, that God created everything in just six days. According to the textbooks, everything created itself over billions of years. The Bible says that God created everything according to their kinds. The textbooks teach that all life evolved from a common ancestor. The Bible says that God created us in His image. We're special. We're not animals. But according to the textbooks, we are animals, and that we evolved from ape-like creatures over millions of years. Now, what really bothers me is that they will take fossils like this one and create pictures like this, when really the evidence shows that these creatures probably looked like these. The Bible says that death came into the world through Adam and Eve's sin. According to the world, death was here long before humans appeared on the scene. The Bible says that all scripture is useful and helpful for teaching, that we can trust God's worth and that our faith is reasonable. According to the world, it's silly to believe in a God we can't see. In fact, many students are made fun of for being Christians. So what happens to students that are learning this context? See, when they're taught that they evolved over millions of years and that they evolved from ape-like creatures, it really impacts their views about God. It also has a tremendous effect on how they view themselves and their role and their purpose. And since our belief drive our choices and our choices ultimately determine the course of our lives. So, wow, we are up against a lot. What can we do about this? I'm glad you asked. This is my life verse. God does not expect us to park our brains at the door. We're to always be ready to give an answer to those that ask us about our faith, but we need to do so with gentleness and respect. So here are some practical suggestions. First of all, remember, it is all about Jesus, 
This isn't about winning arguments or trying to show somebody that they're wrong or who's smarter or anything like that. It is about reaching people about Jesus Christ. Secondly, be real. Make sure that you have a healthy relationship with Jesus Christ. Christians should be known for their love and how they care about people, not for what they're against. Third, realize that God's Word is true. We can trust this Bible. Instead of checking the textbooks to see if our Bible's correct, we need to check the Bible to see if our textbooks are correct. After all, textbooks have been rewritten so many times. And of course, we want to make sure that we do our homework. The good news is, there are so many different resources out there that good answers are just a click away. And finally, please let us help you. You see, for students kindergarten through eighth, we have the zone. But for older students and adults, I highly recommend that you download our free app. Check this out. Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more. Welcome back. It is my hope that you will join us on this exciting journey as we explore science and the Bible. I'm Big Wave Dave, and I hope to see you soon. God bless you.